Canada. We did it. We did it. We believe. Gold. Woo. Big day. Big day. Olympics. Day two. Yeah, my name is Keith. Oh, sing it, Nikki. Sing it. My name is Keith from Mississauga. And I'm here to wrap up today, day two of the Olympic Games, with Winter Man here from Facebook. Oh, wow. First of all, I'm going to start off by saying, uh, Christina... Christina won the bronze medal at speed skating. Yes, she did. And look at this. Winterman is wearing the bronze medal, the silver from last night, and of course, now the gold, the gold with Alex on mogul skiing. Wow, what an exciting moment. Wow, first gold on home soil for Canada. The entire country erupted with pride after that. It was mad, madhouse Winterman. On Facebook, people were just talking about it all over the place. It was exciting, exciting. And um, tomorrow night, Monday, Hmm, it's going to be wild because medal ceremonies are at 10 o'clock Eastern and that's going to be just a packed place of people showing their pride for Canada. Man, this is so exciting. Wow. Okay, I'm going to say <laughs> I was wrong. This morning I said, I don't think Canada has any chance of winning a medal today. And boy, they almost won a bunch of them. So we got a bronze and a gold today. That's amazing. And man, I was wrong. Oh, TV commercials came right out like 10 minutes after this gold. They're already congratulating Canada for winning the gold. I'm sure they were hanging on to this, just praying Canada win a gold because they made TV commercials about it. Hmm, that was interesting. Oh, I have a great little story for you. This is from Jen. Jen put this on Facebook, and I gotta tell you, because uh, I haven't seen this on the main media. Canada beat Slovakia, of course, last night, and that was 18 uh, nothing. Anyway, people were on Facebook bashing Canada for being the bully, for beating up on them, and the whole thing. Anyway, you know, that's not part of the Olympic spirit, is you have to go out hard and play hard the whole time. But here's the offshoot. This is what Jen said. She was actually at the game, and she said the Canadian fans were cheering on Slovakia. Uh, like every time they made a good play, a save or something, they were cheering for them. They were like pushing them on. Come on. They were just happy they were there. I mean, sure, they're getting beat up by the top Canadian team. But, you know, she said, and this is the good part. At the end of the game, the Canadian fans got up and gave Slovakia a standing ovation. Bigger than they gave Team Canada. You know, hey, thanks for playing. It's good to see you on the ice. And, uh, you know, she said it made her feel proud to be Canadian. And she said Slovakian players didn't even leave the ice. They wanted to stay on the ice. They were going around waving at the fans. I mean, it was the biggest game of their lives, and they enjoyed it to the max, even though they lost 18 nothing. And Jen said she went home very proud to be Canadian because the fans really appreciated the fact that they were there. You know, Slovakia was there playing. So that was a great story. Now, on to something else that happened today. Uh, pairs figure skating. I'm going to say I'm not a fan of the figure skating. It just doesn't seem like it should be in the Olympics because it's more like ballet. I mean, sure, a lot of people go and it's big tickets and money because people love figure skating. But as an Olympic sport or as a sport, nah, I don't know. Now, the announcer on television got me laughing because there was one pair. I can't remember. I don't remember what country they were from, but they wore a blue, shiny blue suits, uniforms. And he made fun of them, called them avatars. And he said that on national television. I mean, I'm allowed to say it because I have a blog, but national TV, he was actually insulting them pretty good. He didn't like them at all. And anyway, that was kind of neat. But anyway, that brings up another point. Okay, check this out. The winter man here is wearing the Team Canada hockey jersey, right? So how come figure skaters don't wear any kind of national uniform? I mean, the skiers do, everyone else does, the, you know, the curlers, they're all dressed in their Canada logos, everything. The, the figure skaters don't do that. They're the only sport I know about that don't wear a national uniform for their team. And why do they have to stand out like that? Like, what makes them? That's why, why is this a sport? Why shouldn't they have a Team Canada colors on when they're skating for their country? Hmm, you ever think about that? Why are they dressed up like they're uh, in the ice capades or something? Anyway, I'm not a big fan of the thing. And I think all the skaters, the figure skaters, should be on the ice at the same time. Not just in pairs, but like eight of them all battling each other. Hey, just like uh, the short track speed skating. Now that's a sport. Okay, I'm going to go now. I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. It was fun. It was fun. Oh, the moguls. Don't you like how they have three chairs for gold, silver, and bronze? And if the skater or the skier comes down and beats out someone, they all have to shuffle off. That was really cool. That's what I like about moguls. You know, you sit there if you're winning, and if you're losing, they kick you off the chair, and someone else takes your place. That was kind of neat. Okay, I'll be back in the morning to forecast what's happening on day three. Hmm, hopefully Canada will get more metal stuff. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Don't forget, gold, I believe.